ball. For the team, it's about so much more than hitting the targets. But having that neck pain doesn't mean that you have to sacrifice your screen time. All you have to do is make a little adjustment. It was here in the Food City parking lot where the Jets said they saw the woman walking with her head down inconspicuously. But then that's when she pounced. That's right, and that police chase happened right behind me at the corner of first right near Nissan Stadium. So here's what happens. They put it out on the corner, but no one ever comes to pick it up. There are a lot of people lined up here at the entrance of Vine Street. People have started lining up behind the barricades. And months after the wildfires, they still need help picking up the pieces, even if that means picking up litter along the spur. That's just not the case here in Knoxville. Police are saying that the individual committed suicide, but we're still waiting on further details to be released on that. The prep was like gearing up for a hurricane. But the storm that was on its way was not weather related. The white nationalist rally that was planned to overtake the borough had some quaking in fear. So scared that somebody's going to throw a brick or something through the wind. But had others throwing caution to the wind. I, I, you know, I'm not going to sit around and let these people you know, come and think, you know, what they're going to reclaim the South. The South's going to rise again. We going to white supremacists this up and no. Oh. The counter protesters lined up in large numbers before everything even started and let their voices rain down. Lean on me when you're not strong. Inside. The protesters were few. I'm here all day, baby. I'm here all day. Clearly outnumbered by the other side. But the barriers and police presence kept everything at bay. Some families trickled in to protest, but restrictions kept the majority away. Come on. The distance of the barriers from that side over here on this side of the street are why some of the protesters didn't even show up to the rally. To, to keep us separated, I understand that. They don't want violence. But all of this, I can't have a lighter on me because I can't light a cigarette. Let us come out here and be free and, and fellowship. At the end of the day, the swirling emotions fizzled out and the hurricane of hate was overshadowed by a higher love. Good Lord put us all here. We created equal. It don't matter what color, what race, or what creed. People need to learn to get along and leave the stuff that's done alone. When you're a turkey, gobble, gobble, gobble. you're worried about what will be eaten on Thanksgiving Day. You weren't hungry, were you? You didn't want anything to eat, did you? But when you're Butch Carmichael, <sighs> you don't have a worry on this holiday. It's all good. There's nobody here trying to stand out. Nobody. Except for the people that are standing outside the kitchen, waiting for Butch to say, I gotta go get some potatoes. And turkey, gravy, green beans, and cranberry sauce. Praise the Lord. It's a dinner worth giving thanks. Those who are uh, alone need someone to share Thanksgiving with, so they come here and meet some folks in their in their common uh, needs. But food isn't the only thing that's served up here. But the fellowship, there's people here that I don't go to church with, that I don't associate with ever. They come here and we're friends. And sometimes friends. This is your Thanksgiving dinner, J.D. Well, thank you, honey. Yes. Are the ones that bring you what you can't get yourself. This is a friend of mine that I had promised that I would bring him his meal because he's in a wheelchair. Even on a holiday. I'm looking for someone bring it to me. Where I can't peel them darn potatoes anymore like <laughs> I used to. But why would he need to? Especially when there's oh, friends. Oh, you behave yourself now. Don't you take any wooden nickels. And people like Butch Carmichael. I am, I'm cute as a button. Who cares a whole awful lot. I'm so happy to see you. <laughs> oh, I'm glad to see you too about other people. I feel like as long as they're in power that this institution will not move forward. It'll always be a dark shadow over SGA. Which is what some SGA senators think. After newly elected President Courtney Brandon and newly elected Vice President of Campus Relations Timothy Bassett were accused of breaking rules like campaigning in the library. After Bassett said during the pre-election debate that he told a friend last year that campaigning there is unethical. You cannot 
campaign in the library, like it was against the Electoral Act. And I asked the person how they read the Electoral Act. So I was like, well, you personally have to email the person who's over SGA elections and tell them, hey, remove myself from the ballot because this is unethical of me. And the pair was accused of not turning in receipts for campaign items and donations, including a borrowed golf cart to ride around campus in. I went to Dr. Danny Kelly about the receipts filed on the golf cart for Courtney and Timothy. And I have an email from Dr. Kelly at 3.21 p.m. the day I went to him that said that Kenneth told him that they had not filed receipts for that golf cart. And while a golf cart may not seem like a big deal, no receipts being submitted made some people feel like them breaking the rules was being looked over, which made some people go to Facebook to call for a resignation. I just really want to protect this institution and make sure that we can move forward from this. That's why I've called for them to resign. While some who are not even involved with SGA just think that something should be done. I think there should be some kind of consequence. You know, I think they, I don't think they should just um, just be let in without any consequences at all. But both candidates were inaugurated. All parent attendants have found a way to make their own individualistic impact on this campus. And that's the goal when we take our first few steps on campus. But even with those steps, some still feel like there will be a trust barrier between the student body and SGA.